Okay, hi, welcome back to QBT. Um, this week we're back on the waves. Wave? Path? Wave? Um, we're doing interference, okay? So we talked about path difference, we talked about phase difference, we talked about how path difference creates phase difference, but we still haven't really talked about the significance of both of them. Um, and the reason that they're important is because they uh, lend to something called interference, which is effectively what happens when two waves superpose. Okay, um, So if you have waves that are completely in phase, then you get something called constructive interference, uh, and when they are completely out of phase, you get something called total destructive interference. And you can think of it kind of like amplification versus cancellation. Um, and this is really dependent on um, one, the phase and path difference, and two, where the waves are what we call coherent. Okay, and I'll talk about this in the tutorial video a little bit more, but coherence is basically when two waves have the same wavelength and frequency and a constant phase difference. Okay, so that is something that you need to understand and learn about, but I, I do explain it more in the tutorial video, so just check it out now. Okay, so last week we had a bit of a break because we, we were doing uh, a request video, uh, but now we're going to shift back into the WAVES um, A-level syllabus, uh, and we're going to be discussing something which is called interference. Okay, so in our last videos we discussed path difference and phase difference and how the two kind of are related, um, but what we didn't really talk about in a lot of detail is this idea that... Um, phase difference, which is caused by path difference, causes something that we call interference, okay? So, if we have two waves, right, which are completely in phase, so they have a, a, a path difference of n lambda, and they have a phase difference of zero degrees in this case, because they're completely in phase, um, what does that mean? in terms of how they interfere. Well, what it means is that they interfere constructively. Okay, so when path difference is equal to n lambda, or when phase difference is equal to zero degrees or 360 degrees, what you end up with is something called constructive, constructive interference. Okay, and constructive interference is something that can be kind of thought of as, as amplification, okay? So let me just draw this for you in a diagram, um, and it will help you kind of visualize what it is I'm talking about. So if we have this graph, and it's a displacement time graph or something, right, uh, for a wave, and let's say that this is plus uh, 5, and this is, okay, minus 5 or something, um, and we have one wave like this, like that, and then we have another wave like this, like that. Okay. Now, let's say that they're completely in phase. Uh, and this is coming to plus 1. And this is coming to plus 3. Uh, and this is coming to minus 2. And this is coming to minus 3. Okay, so this is minus 3. This is minus 2. Oh, no. Oh, it's gone away. Disaster. We can fix it. We can fix it. Okay. Um, so this is coming to minus 2. This is coming to minus 3. And this is coming to plus one, and this is coming to plus three. So the result would be three and one, which would be plus four. And then the result would be minus five down here. So you have plus one and plus three, which is plus four. Uh, and then you have uh, minus two and minus three, which is minus five. Okay, because the, the crests align with each other. Okay, so you get this constructive interference. Okay, um, now... That is that is one of the kinds of interference, okay? Um, but you also have destructive interference, okay? So when your path difference is equal to a half number of wavelengths, or when your path difference is equal to um, 180 degrees, then what you end up with is something that we call total destructive total destructive interference, okay? Um, and that's when you get something which I suppose could be referred to as the opposite of amplification, you get cancellation. 
So what does that mean? Right, well, if we have a wave which is like this, and then we have another wave which is like this, yeah, that might be an example. Um, what we have is uh, a path difference of 180, uh, sorry, you have a phase difference of pi, okay, well, 180 degrees, because this wave starts here, um, and that you suppose you also have a phase difference, sorry, excuse me, you have a phase difference of pi, uh, and you have a path difference of half lambda, okay, because that's half a wavelength before the other one starts. Um, so what we're dealing with here is, you know, plus three here, I suppose, and then minus three here. Um, if we carry on this wave like this, that will help us kind of with the picture. Um, the result the result would be something like this. So here and here, this would carry on as normal, but then we've got this with this, so you get nothing, and you've got this with this, so you get nothing. So you end up with this. Okay, that is total destructive interference. Okay, um, and anything in between is just a relative, uh, relatively destructive. But what you really need to take away from this video is that when your path difference is equal to n lambda and your phase difference is equal to 360 degrees or zero degrees, you end up with constructive interference. Okay. And then when your path difference is equal to n plus half lambda, um, or your phase difference is equal to pi or, or 180 degrees, then you end up with total, total destructive interference. Okay, um, and that is the, the kind of thing that you really need to learn um, and, and make sure that you understand. As another thing that I just want to touch on, as well before we end this tutorial um, and it's a concept that you kind of need to understand in, in, in wave physics which is this idea that well, this, there's this there's this word that we use called coherence okay you might have waves which are referred to as coherent okay um, and all that means is that they have a fixed a fixed difference in wavelength and frequency okay uh, and because they have a fixed difference between wavelength and frequency they also have a fixed phase difference okay um, so if you ever are asked to define what a coherent coherent waves are if two waves are coherent it just means that they have a fixed phase difference because they have a fixed relationship between their wavelength and their frequency OK, that's another thing that you should just keep in mind going forward when you're studying this topic of waves. OK, okay so that is interference. It's dead easy. It's not too hard. You just need to be able to define coherence. You have to be able to understand how path difference affects phase difference um, and how that affects how constructive or destructive uh, interference is between two different waves. Um, that's pretty much it. Very important going forward. Like and subscribe, please. It helps us grow the channel and get more quantum content to you guys. Um, but until then, I think that's it. That's it, right? Yeah. If you have anything that you want to see, please put it in the comments, and we will we will try and do it for you. But until next time, I will see you then. Bye bye.